Hi, my name is uh, Robert Bolaños, and uh, it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera. Usually I'm more comfortable in back of the camera making videos about uh, power supplies and uh, about general electronics, uh, especially analog electronics, uh, which has been uh, fun for me to teach. Uh, I'm sitting in my lab today uh, on the eve of a very special day tomorrow. Tomorrow's December 19, uh, 2014. Uh, it's a day very special for me and for my family. Uh, my son, my firstborn, Robert Jr., will be graduating from uh, from uh, the University of Texas at San Antonio with a Bachelor of Science in electrical engineering tomorrow and uh, I feel very very proud uh, of for him especially uh, being that it's a great accomplishment let alone this is a great accomplishment for you know any any person uh, but for him it's a little bit more special or at least in, in my opinion a little bit more special because he was born with autism. Uh, Robert was two years old when he was diagnosed with autism and as a parent when uh, you find out that your son has certain learning disabilities uh, kind of dashes your hopes and dreams and you start worrying you know is he is he going to progress is he going to be independent, he's going to be able to learn, and so forth. And uh, and as a parent, uh, we went through a lot of emotional highs and lows, especially a lot of lows, uh, finding that he was autistic. Luckily, he is what is called a high-functioning autistic, and we called it, uh, or diagnosed as autism uh, early enough where we got him the therapy that he needed. And uh, together with uh, his teachers uh, through elementary, middle school, and high school, uh, he has been able to progress very fine uh, and uh, done fairly well. Uh, but he has had obstacles along the way, and he has worked very hard to overcome some of those obstacles. In fact, one of the reasons that I have posted uh, a lot of the basic electronic videos was for him, uh, for some of his circuits one, circuits two classes, and uh, analog integrated circuit classes. And uh, it was to help him uh, learn about uh, electronics and, and, and circuits. And uh, and that's why I started posting, making some of these videos. So, uh, in short, in spite of his learning disability, and uh, he has progressed very well, uh, very well. and uh, I'm just very ecstatic, very proud, and uh, that he has... Uh, accomplish this goal and uh, now I don't worry about his future I believe that he will have a very successful life he has uh, he's very driven and uh, very goal oriented and uh, and for people that have autism uh, not to lose any hope that they can live a, a good normal life that is possible with enough therapy and behavior modification and basically teaching them how to how to learn I guess that would be the the biggest uh, lesson learn how to learn how to figure things out and that's been one of the models that I've always told them 
that uh, a lot of times I won't be there or you won't be able to have a someone to help you. You gotta look at a problem, look at it from different situations, and try to figure things out. So, and it, and as such, uh, you can take that mantra and apply it toward life in general. There, there will be obstacles, and if there's an obstacle, you gotta either go over, around, under, do whatever it takes to. Uh, Get around that obstacle. Anyway, uh, it's late at night. I'm tired. We've been preparing for tomorrow's graduation, and like I said, I'm very, uh, very happy, and uh, I'm very proud that uh, he's graduating. I still have one more in college with uh, my daughter Vanessa, uh, and hopefully in a year from now she'll be graduating uh, from from the university. Anyway, this is a little update. Like I said, it's, uh, uh, it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera and uh, just wanted to update, uh, I guess, some of my uh, personal life or uh, things that have, have uh, happened uh, or are is happening in my life. Thank you for watching.